Okay, first disclaimer. Buying and selling stuff on leverage is really crazy and you shouldn't do it. But I'm doing it and this is what I'm doing. You know when you buy a house, everyone in Australia is buying a house, or well, those who can, and putting down a 20% deposit, and this is, imagine it's really $20,000, borrowing 80% and watching the house value go up and then gaining so the house value goes up 10%, it goes up not 10% of the money you put down, but 10% of the value of the house and you borrowed 80 of it, so you're great. You only borrow at 7% interest and the house value goes up 50%, which seems to be the way things are, then you're great. And what happens if the house value goes down, which has happened? Not great. So I'm doing the same, but with stocks and with indexes indices indexes of this is like the top 200 companies of australia or the top top 50 companies of china and then the same thing but in hong kong shares it's actually china shares but in hong kong dollars and so the same thing with oanda the platform you can borrow in this case i'm all the european ones i'm borrowing 90 percent so i'm putting a 10 percent deposit so here I have gone into Spain and I saw that the daily, this is the super trend line, it went down. I thought, oh, yep, I'll get some of that. And I went in, bought, I put down $200 deposit and they lent me nearly $2,000. Now the price has gone up 1.68% in a couple of days and two days and not 1.6% of the 200 deposit that I put, but 1.6% of the $1,950 that I borrowed. See, this this stock is worth 12,000 euros, or 12,100 right now, and I only bought 10% of it, so I bought $1,200, no, $1, 1,200 euros worth, which is 1950 Australian dollars. And this is going to be my strategy now. So I'm not going to buy it here anymore. I'm going to buy the dip. So like here, there's a trend line. I put a big trend line. If you go out to look at the monthly and look at the whole history of the world, you can see here that it, there's a trend line. It touched there, it touched there, it touched there. So my plan is on the daily, if it touches the trend line, I'm going to buy it. And then how do I get out? I don't know yet. Maybe I'm just going to keep on going and like maybe put my stop loss below the previous day. And if it gets a down day, then we're screwed and we get out. So it'd be out here. Or maybe I'll wait until it touches, it crosses over the trend line and be out there. I don't know. I'll put a, some kind of a trailing stop loss on and get as much of that as I can. So it would work there. And I would be putting down my... $200 deposit getting $2,000 and we would have gone up how much let's see let's suppose I got it up to here would have been 6% in 27 days so let me count up my calculator and 6 no, 6% 6 divided by 27 days is 0.2% interest per day times 365 is annualized interest of 81%, but it's not 81% of the $200 you put down, it's $2,000 times 1.8. You're going to make $1,600. I put 0.8. You're going to make $1,600 in 27 days amazing supposing you were really rich and really crazy and you want you know how much does a house cost a million dollars basically let's say let's say you could get a house for 600 but you've got a deposit of 20 percent which is 120,000 that's so crazy so suppose you put your 120,000 dollar thousand dollar deposit down you would get times 10 they would lend you times nine, they would lend you 90%. So you would get what 1.8 million, $1 million. And you would be making 1 million times whatever that is, uh, times 0.8. In the 27 days, you would have made eight, 864,000. Okay, I'm being crazy. That's 120,000, right? Yeah. Oh, you would have made yeah eight hundred thousand dollars in twenty seven days, and you would be like, oh yeah, 
this is life for me. But what happens if it goes the wrong way? So I am being careful. So in this case, let's look at Spain. What I did was I put my stop loss way down here. When I went in here, I put my stop loss way down there. So if it went wrong, I would lose $120. So in this case, if you put your $100,000 deposit down and it went wrong, you would lose the 120, uh, about half, more than half. So 120 is like how much percent? 200 divided by 120, is that how you work it out? 1.6 and then $100,000 divided by times divided by? I don't know how to work it out. I'd tuck it the other way around. 120 divided by 200 is 0.6% and then $100,000 divided times 0.6 you would have lost $60,000. Yeah, that's a million and I think it just make $100,000 you would have lost $60,000 and you would be sad and so don't do it. But I'm doing it because I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. And then all of these, there's there's the financing costs. US is the worst because they're all seven percent. The Nasdaq, the Russ, Russell two thousand. But I mean, if you bought the Nasdaq, let's have a look at the Nasdaq. This is as as good as houses, right? Because if you look at the monthly, two thousand eight China global financial crisis. It had a big dive all the way down to 2009, March, and then, then it started going up. But here it was worth $1,000. I mean, here it was worth $2,000. So you would have lost, in the GFC, you would have lost 48%. That's terrible. But then if you held on, your $2,000 would be worth now $20,000 in 12 years later. So that's 10 times the money. But with leverage, if you put two thousand dollars down, and they lend you, let's put a thousand dollars down, and they lend you nine thousand, so you would have ten grand, and then it would be a hundred grand in twelve years. And if you put a hundred grand down, you would have had a million, and it would be double. Is it double? Ten times. It's ten times. Ten million. Bruh, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. So this is my strategy. Thank you for watching, and don't do it. And that's it. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Be happy.